Guys, I cannot believe it. They made the X-Men woke. How could have they done this? Like, what? X-Men being woke? Like, you think, like, X-Men would have, like, I don't know, uh, gay people or black people? Bro, they're mutants. Why, why would they have gay people or trans people or black people in it? That doesn't make any sense. They're mutants. They should have mutants in it. I can't believe they would do this. They made the freaking X-Men gay. That is so funny because, like, has anyone actually watched the show? Like, has anyone watched the show ever since they were, like, 12 years old? Because how are you gonna miss the whole point of the series? This series has a strong message. Hell, the first, like, episode is all about Jubilee being discriminated and put in jail for being a mutant. And then all the mutants are called different slurs and are being ostracized and are being, you know, bullied, whatever you want to call it. It's so insane that someone can look at that and someone look at how blatant they are referencing anti-gay and anti-black protests in this show and not realize that, hey, this is supposed to be the bad guys. Those guys are supposed to represent minorities. It's so insane to me that you could say that it made the show woke. They made it woke. Woke? This show is about marginalized people trying to convince the rest of the world that they're just normal people like the others. The villain and the leader of the team have a MLK and Malcolm X dynamic where Magneto thinks in or believes in mutant supremacy. He believes that the mutants are superior and uh, he should, you know, eliminate all humans eventually. That being as like a byproduct of his experience in World War II and what white supremacy has done and how he lived through the Holocaust. The fact that he lived through all of that made him a mutant supremacist. And ain't that very similar to situation happening in the world right now that I'm not going to comment on. Xavier's whole thing is to be more of a MLK type guy, you know, peaceful, not do anything wrong, prove that through kindness he can make mutants part of the rest of the world, that they don't have to be ostracized. The whole point of the series is you have this redneck and idiots and all those like mad people like, oh, freak you moot mutants. You should die, etc, etc. And then you have bad mutants that are used as an example of why mutants are bad in order to uh, perpetuate this stereotype. And then you have some good mutants that are proving that a stereotype is just a stereotype because there's a lot of good people that are mutants. The struggle has been used in comics and in TV shows as an allegory for the civil rights movement. That's where the MLK and Malcolm X um, kind of equivalency comes from Magneto and Xavier. And then also for other stuff like gay rights or trans rights in more recent times. Minorities in general are meant to be represented by the X-Men who are good people, or not necessarily even good people, just normal people living their lives, trying to you know, just go by and save the world, etc., etc., but are being discriminated against. And how unfair it actually is, because there's heroes like Captain America, there's Thor, there's Hulk or Spider-Man, and yeah, they have their haters too, but those guys are only different in terms of being classified as mutants, Yet they're being ostracized to an insane level comparative to like Captain America, who's 
basically a mutant if you think about it. To say the show is woke because the guy who is objectively non-binary is non-binary is kind of funny. Because Morph is a shapeshifter. His whole deal is that he can shift between male, female, in between, uh, whatever, anything. He's, he can shapeshift in through whatever body parts and whatever appearances he wants, which means that he's outside of the binary, like objectively outside of the binary. This is not some I identify type stuff. He's objectively out of it. I mean, yeah, in the show, they're probably going to use it in a more uh, gender quote unquote woke type, type scenario I understand that but he objectively would be non-binary a shapeshifter that changes between male and female and can change different body parts to look different ways would be the definition of trans and would be the definition of non-binary by default even if they didn't want to be they would be if you're um, uh, uh, someone who uh, who was born a male, for example, and thinks as a male, thinks themselves as a male, but you can shift you into a woman, you are trans when you transform into that woman because you have the body of a woman, but the brain and mentality of a man. You are literally trans. Like, that's, you can't help that. That's objectively true of every shapeshifter ever. So, it's hilarious to me that those people are trying to make it seem like this is new. This has never happened before. What? X-Men is going woke? Well, buddy, X-Men has been woke. And will continue to be woke. And before you say something, well, back in the day it was about fighting racism and homophobia. But nowadays it's about fighting transphobia? Well, that's just too far for me. Well, sorry, buddy, but times change. Okay? Back in the 1800s, being against slavery was woke. And then mid-1900s, being against racism was very woke. Nowadays, being pro-LGBT is woke. But that's kind of how it works. Social standards change and move on. They never stay in place. And X-Men started out as an allegory for the civil rights movement. Then, throughout the 80s and the 90s, it became more of an allegory for that, but also for the LGBT community. And then, into the 2000s and 2010s and 2020s now, it has become an allegory for even more than that. So, if you're gonna be mad at it, be mad at it from the start, because X-Men was always more progressive than the average population at the time it was released. It was always against racism, always against homophobia, and now is against transphobia. I'm sorry, but that's what the X-Men represent. If you don't like it, that's fine, but don't pretend to be an X-Men fan, because an X-Men fan would understand that that's what X-Men has been for the past 50 freaking years. And yes, I am willing to basically debate anyone in the comments. Now... I only have Discord, so if you want, I can give you an invite, you can come to my Discord, or I can give you my Discord handle, and we can talk this out, because I will debate each and every one of you, because I realized when it comes to political issues, or any kind of issues, nobody actually wants to argue, nobody wants to have an argument, and nobody actually wants to put their money where their mouth is, and have a conversation in real life, well, not in real life, but in voice, so... We can see what arguments do you have against what I'm saying. Because there aren't any, realistically speaking. They're just going to bring up some BS in the comments if you disagree with me. And if you're going to agree with me, you're going to be like, yeah, go get him, dude. Which is um, appreciated, actually. Because uh, I am right. I am always right. I am never wrong. And yeah. So if you are mad that they have made the X-Men progressive or woke... You should know that they've always been. Hell, I was watching this show when I was very little. And then I watched it again when I was like 14 or 15, around that age. And it was one of those things that made me realize that like, damn, must be tough being hated by everyone, you know? It played a small but important role into me realizing that eh, maybe being, you know, you know, prejudice is not that good. 
you know, maybe it has some drawbacks, like, what if a gay or a black friend or a gay or black dude, you know, maybe maybe he's a mutant and he has cool powers. What if what if what if I bully some guy who has cool powers and then we're not becoming friends, he's not gonna be able to, you know, use his cool powers to help me in life, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's one of those things lose lose situations. Like you're racist, you can't have a guy who's your friend with cool powers, you know, it's freaked up. You know, it's it's messed up, dude. But yeah, anyway. Um if you think X Men went woke you haven't actually paid attention to the x-men for the past 50 years and you are stupid and also probably in your 40s you're middle-aged you're balding your wife left you and your channel is falling off plus ratio bye